Hi friends, greetings. Kelly Welton here, the breathing specialist. Today I want to talk about peak flow meters. And so I've got Monahan's True Zone peak flow meter. They all essentially work the same way. I just like this one. It's simple, it's easy to use, and it calculates it for you. So when you do your peak flows, a couple of things. First, you're going to look in your package and it's got a predicted amount of peak flow. Your best peak flow, you should do this on a day when you're feeling really good, but never mind what's in here. It, this, According to this, it says for me, normal females, I never said I was normal, for normal females for my age, which I'm not going to tell you, and my height and my weight, my peak flow according to this should be 455. So just file that for now want to get into more about the technique of how we're going to do this. So first we need to shake it down to zero. If you have a different peak flow meter, you may have to manually move the marker down to zero. Now when you do this, you do not want to cough into it. You want to keep your throat open, your glottis open. So you're going to take a big, big breath in and and you should ideally be doing this standing up so you get the most out of your lungs. So my first try was 300. So I'm going to shake this down. And these come with little stickers that you can put on there. So green, yellow, red zone. I'll explain that in a minute. So I'm going to shake this back down to zero. And I'm going to do it again. So I'm going to take a big, a lot of room to shake this down. I'm going to take a big, big breath in. Hard and fast. And I did 320, getting better. So I'm going to shake this down again because you want to do three, your personal best out of three. So big, big, biggest breath in ever. Open wide, hard and fast. And I did 320. So what I'm going to do with that 320 now is I'm going to take one of those stickers that I had. And on my flow meter itself, I'm going to find where 320 was, and I'm going to put the best right there at 320. I'm going to pull the rest of the strip down, and you can cut the end off if you need to. So that's what it will look like. So 320 was my best, and what this does is automatically calculate. So 80% of that, you're still in a green zone. You're still doing good. When you get to 50 to 80% of whatever your personal best was, that's a caution zone. Maybe think about taking an extra puff of your inhaler before you go outside or to go do anything. Make sure you take your inhaler with you. The red zone is you're in trouble, and you need to probably think about what you're doing. Make sure you take your medications. Possibly think about seeing the doctor. This is kind of an early warning system for those of you who use this. So again, hard and fast, keep your throat open, don't cough, make sure you're standing up, you get the most of your lung power, and green zone, yellow zone, red zone. I mostly wanted to talk about technique today. For the best explanation, I like to go to www.lung.org, that's the American Lung Association site, that will explain everything about this. So I hope this has been helpful. Thanks for joining. We'll see you next time. Bye-bye.